Cherish the past and relish in the new. Medora, North Dakota. We're taking in all this quaint town has to offer. Join us as we go exploring. Take a ride through Medora's history at the Medora Musical. You can enjoy a look back at the Wild West days of the region with singing, dancing, and live horses. This performance includes references to Theodore Roosevelt, who spent time in Western North Dakota, including in the nearby Theodore Roosevelt National Park. The musical premiered at the Burning Hills Amphitheater in the summer of 1965. It underwent many changes throughout the years, but continues to bring visitors from near and far. Hey, now we're hanging out with Emma and Aaron. They are some of the Burning Hill singers here at the Medora Musical in Medora, North Dakota. We are on the stage right now. This is your guys' like home away from home. Is it the is, stage. yes. So tell us a little bit about yourselves and how you got involved in this musical. You can go ahead, Emma. Um, so I worked at Dollywood in Ooh. Pigeon Forge. I'm from Tennessee for about five years. And I met the director, Kurt Wallen, at Dollywood. Um, and he was like, come join us for the summer. And I did, and I'm loving it. Awesome. It's so fun. Okay. I joined uh, in 21. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend Kevin, who was a Burning Hill singer uh, for a few years in the past, he contacted me one day, and the theater wasn't really up and running because of COVID. So this was a cool opportunity, something at least out of the ordinary. Sure. So I just came, and I've been here ever since, three years. That's awesome. Yeah. I've been to the musical and it is surely amazing. There's so much variety and different things, set design, you know, and, and you guys change outfits all the time. Yeah. What, what is it like <clears throat> just to be on stage for that long? I mean, exuding all this energy. Um, I definitely say <laughs> doing it with my friends mm. is the best part. So mm -hmm. we get to interact and just have fun and we take that home with us. We have a great time. It's a great group of people. And I feel like there's probably challenges with having this outdoor venue. Yeah. You know, you got wind, you got yes. rain, you got all these different elements. <clears throat> so what's the, I mean, I'm assuming like every night's sort of different. Yes. Oh my 100%. gosh. 100%. Yeah. We have things called beat the rain shows. We have rain shows. I just say it is a town based around Theodore Roosevelt with the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. The musical is a 90 to 100 minute country review show, patriotic country review show, mm -hmm. based on the history of Medora and Theodore Roosevelt, Marquis de Mores, Harold Schaefer, and that's, it's truly nothing I've ever been a part of before. Mm -hmm. It's Broadway of the West, I consider it, mm -hmm. um, and it is the greatest show of the West. It was just wood slats, wood benches in the hill. Mm -hmm. People would just come for entertainment. People singing country music, cowboys, cowgirls, prairie songs. Mm -hmm. um, still based around Theodore Roosevelt. I believe like towards the late 50s into mid 60s is when it started getting the big hub. Harold Schaefer came in, revitalized the town, revitalized the amphitheater. And then as it took off into the 80s and 90s, Kurt Wallen was handed this musical to produce from Harold Schaefer and his production team. Mm -hmm. um, Stage West Production has been doing it ever since, I think, mid 90s to early 2000s. Mm -hmm, sure, so if somebody came last year, it's gonna be different this year and yeah. so on and so forth. <clears throat> so it's can, never the same yeah. show twice. You can still expect yeah. the clog, the charge. Well, the enemy Lord, adore it, Medora. You better come yeah. see us. You better come and play. Thank <laughs> you.